Could a different approach to funding Pennsylvania's 500 public school districts decrease your property taxes? Well, State House and Senate Democrats, along with the governor, claim they have a plan to do that. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Evan Forrester. They said they want to use surplus tax dollars from last year and federal dollars from the American Rescue Plan to improve schools in this year's budget. Fox 43's Grace Griffin has mourned why they say where children live is hurting their education. We will not forget these children. We will make sure that the children in, in Harrisburg, the children in Lancaster, the children in York, and in fact the rural communities are not left behind. Passions flare in Harrisburg. What you see is a collaboration of lawmakers from rural districts and urban districts and suburban districts. Democratic lawmakers standing beside Governor Wolf to address what they call an antiquated education funding model for PA public schools. They want to invest surplus tax dollars and federal money from the American Rescue Plan to improve schools for students across the state fully implementing the state's fair funding formula. The zip code that you live in should not determine your child's livelihood nor their opportunities for success. Scott Coover of Cumberland County knows what it's like to have a zip code dictate his child's success. I've moved a couple of times and I've seen that from different school districts and, and they're not, they don't even have to be far apart, just between um, Big Spring School District and Carlisle, for instance. My son went from one to the other to find out, hey, you're half a year behind in curriculum because they don't have the they don't have the technology. The fair funding formula has come up before. In 2016, Governor Wolf signed it into law. The problem, supporters say the formula is only applied to new funding, and many of PA's 500 public districts are being funded based on student enrollment data from 1992, not accounting for increases in population or what it costs to run a district in 2021. Supporters say that forces the people who live in those places to make up for the lack of funds. Property taxes are increased, hurting homeowners and businesses. Under their proposal, every school district would see an increase in dollars, but historically shortchanged districts would receive larger increases. Uh, our budget picture just isn't as rosy as they're making it out to be. Jason Gottesman, press secretary for the House Republicans, is talking about Pennsylvania's deficit. He says many Republicans support the fair funding formula. They just want it to be implemented the right way. We'll make sure education is funded to the best of our ability. Uh, and we're, we're going to make sure that we have a balanced budget that doesn't raise uh, taxes on Pennsylvanians who have suffered already enough. If fully implemented, Coover wants to see if it will actually lower property taxes, like supporters tout. As a realtor, um, I see, like I said, the other side of it is, you know, I see how many people this could help. In Harrisburg, Grace Greffa 10, Fox 43 News.